Hi everyone, my name is Charlie. I am in Champaign, Illinois for a 48 hour film festival. I am gonna record on two cameras. And um, I am reviewing a burrito from Mays, that's M-A-I-Z-E. Uh, comes in pretty nondescript packaging. Looks like a smaller, um, smaller chain run by actual Hispanic people. So um, my expectations are pretty high on this one. I ordered a chicken burrito. Didn't see any funny stuff on the instructions, but again, I'm just a gringo, so I don't know. Maybe they got something special in here for me. Um, substantial weight, uh, similar to a Qdoba burrito, where uh, it's similar weight to a Qdoba burrito where the person making it doesn't know you, so they don't give you a little bit extra. It's about that weight. Um, solid, though. Uh, single wrap, looks like uh, they make their own tortillas. Um, we're going to give this a shot. First bite, a lot more lettuce than I expected, and um, some interesting sauce, which I can't tell if it's just a cheese sauce or if there's some spice in there, but we're going to continue. I didn't get much chicken on that one. A lot lighter than I personally expected. Um, what's the purple stuff inside a le lettuce, Ryan? What's that called? Is that inside of lettuce? Like like the purple stuff that's with lettuce. That's not an onion, is, is that it? Onion? Oh, okay. So there's finely shredded onions, which I don't have a problem with. Um, cabbage, maybe. Maybe some cabbage. I'm gonna do one last bite and hope that I get something. Um, I'm starting to taste a little bit of refried bean in there. I'm usually not a fan of that just thrown in a burrito, but it's fine. It's a little bit more plain than I expected coming from actual Hispanic people, but um, good, good. I don't think this is. Got sauce with it. Oh, I got a sauce with it as well. Excuse me, I got to try that. Um, I did not get the sauce, or is it with the chips? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try a bite with the sauce, and then I'll move on to the chips. Uh, a red sauce. Um, I'm not gonna try it until I put the burrito in it. I don't know how hot this is. This is an entirely different color than Ryan's sauce. Okay. This is somewhere between a medium and a hot. Pretty good. Uh, a little bit more watery than I like. I like some, some chunks in salsa. Um, it's not coming together like perfectly for me, but it's not a bad burrito by any means. This isn't another like Moe's thing. Um, what I'm not feeling is the refried beans, just because I don't like them that much. I'd prefer a black bean or even a pinto, pinto bean, but it's just kind of a mush in there. But I can tell they, they're making this stuff when you order it, not days ahead like most probably does um starting to get some sour cream the lettuce is green it's not like something that was cut this morning like they're shredding it now or at least opening the package now um i'm gonna give this burrito for texture i'm gonna give it a six it's a little bit more mushy than i'd like for overall taste i'll give it a eight doesn't quite pop like i expected it to but the beans are kind of watering everything down and then um the chicken which they're not throwing as much in there as I thought. It looks like white meat. looks like unspiced, which is why I'm not tasting it that much. Which is actually a good thing, uh, because like Chipotle, not only do they put a lot of E. coli in food, but they also put, it has like a fake wood flavor, which um, kind of goes against their all-natural food thing. So I'll give overall the burrito an eight. Not sure if it's worth the line that we had to sit through through it. It seemed like more of a trend line than a... Uh, then uh, we love your food line. But there were actual people speaking Spanish that were ordering. So if they like it, I should love it. And maybe it's a problem that I've had too much Moe's and my palate's kind of damaged. So overall, Maze, 8 out of 10. Thank you, Champagne. And thank you, Ryan, for uh, taking me to this uh, travel burrito spot. I will see you soon.